With the Psi Disruptor's signal hampering the Zerg's communications to one another, the swarms over Char have scattered in disarray, allowing the fleet to penetrate to the planet's surface. However, there is still a considerable number of defenders nestled around the fledgling Overmind. Alexei was right. The Disruptor is the key to victory here. If I had destroyed the machine as Duran suggested, we would never have made it this far. Nevertheless, the time is upon us, Captain, to do what we came here for. We will claim the Overmind in the name of humanity. Be advised, Captain. Our sensors have identified three Cerebrates who constitute the core of the Overmind's defenses. Each Cerebrate's distinct capabilities are still unknown, so proceed with extreme caution. Launch your forces, and let not a Zerg survive. Once you have reached the Overmind and crushed its defenders, you are to send in specially trained medics who will pacify the creature with potent Neurostim drugs. Only then will our victory be assured. And Captain, remember that Duran is still out there somewhere. I venture against that his treachery has only just begun. Be careful and good luck. I am sure that this will be our finest hour. DTA, one minute. Roger. How oh, hell. The weather outside is hostile. You know who the best starfighter in the fleet is? Doesn't matter, since you'll all be dead soon anyway. Everybody's gotta die sometime, Red. It's your time. Who's your mummy? Attack formation. Light them up. Sir, these sunken colonies aren't being affected by anything we hit them with. I'll bet there's one of those cerebral critters pumping up full of energy nearby.
Orders received. Right away, sir. SCV, good to go, sir. Ready to roll out. Yes, sir. Delighted to, sir.
Transmission target designated. Take it slow. Frequencies receiving. is under attack. You want a piece of me, boy? Hailing frequencies open. Commander, rock and roll. Good day, Commander. You want a piece of me, boy? Take it slow. Hailing frequencies open. Yes, sir. Checked up and good to go. 
are in place and are administering the neurostim treatments to the overmind. is our mutual friend, Lieutenant Duran. You see, Admiral, there are a number of groups in this sector who feel that your involvement here causes certain complications. My associates and I intend to make sure that your reign is short-lived. You may find that difficult, you abomination, seeing as how I possess the means to disrupt your control of the Zerg. 
Ah, you're referring to your vaunted Psy Disruptor. It won't last you forever, Admiral. Sooner or later, I'll destroy it. Then I'll show you what the Zerg are really capable of. Oh, and by the way, Admiral, your friend Stukov was twice the man you are. <laughs> I'm glad you saved me the trouble of having to kill him. once brought fear to all who heard it. But now we can all rest easy as our own forces now occupy their very homeworld of Char. Months have passed since our initial confrontation with the Zerg, and now Directorate forces have taken control of the planet Char, long since rumored to cradle the malevolent overmind of the Zerg. The overmind itself, an enormous living brain-like entity, dictates control of all the myriad Zerg forces, and it was believed to be planning an invasion of the Earth itself. Once on the offensive, our highly trained directorate forces were more than a match for the beast-like Zerg. Even their fiercest warrior breed could not defeat the greatest military technology in the galaxy. The Zerg forces on Char were completely decimated and their losses were tallied in the millions. But all wars have casualties, and while Directorate losses were minimal, the fleet's Vice Admiral Stukov gave his life during the final valiant assault on Char. Memorial services were held aboard the Directorate flagship Alexander. Vice Admiral Stukov truly knew the meaning of sacrifice. Yet his sacrifice was not in vain. The Obermind itself was the prize of the battle. Even now, Directorate psychics and powerful drugs are keeping the creature pacified. The Obermind will undergo extensive research to ensure the continued safety of the United Earth Directorate and of all mankind. <laughs> 